Hey Joel, this is a weird place for a video intro. Damn right, that's because we got cut off and kicked out of the all you can eat restaurant. Well, cut off at least. So, let me explain. I've decided not to disclose the location of the restaurant, so I was already there. Reason being, because one of the staff there was just so excellent, uh, I could not thank them enough. I'm gonna call them for our purposes, Carolina. Uh, Carolina, you rock as a person. But I did get cut off at an all you can eat restaurant for the first time, so let's roll clip, let me explain. <laughs> Alright, so it looks really good. Let's get started. I got them to put down two more, told them I'd try to eat a few. And so, let's get started. Ketchup, tartar sauce, my two favorites. So the french fries are the chips, are like actually cooked here, they're really, like, everything's homemade, or made here, so it looks good. As everything's made to order though, it's very hot. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So this is a video that really I wasn't even sure I was gonna release. Uh, I really, I, although I do do reviews and they aren't always just positive, I only make videos that are objective. So I never intend to blast restaurants, to, you know, hurt them in any way. However, if the experience is horrible i'm gonna tell you it's horrible so this experience well let's just say it started really really good right here and it took a huge dip huge dip going south very very quickly try fish What I do ask is if you can identify this location, please do not disclose it. Purposely, I am not for a reason. And that reason being because there is one awesome staff member there that turned this from one of the most negative experiences I've had in a restaurant, well, I mean like at an all-you-can-eat restaurant, into one that was a lot better, as you're going about to find out. I have a feeling I will use this whole bottle of ketchup. Now I'll tell you a little bit about the place. So this is an English fish and chips place, like England, Britain, fish chips place. Uh, yes, the people who own it are actually straight from um, England. Uh, so English fish and chip place, and they do have an all you can eat option. Uh, the signage everywhere just said all you can eat, all you can eat. There was no mentioning of limits or cutoffs or stay duration or anything of that nature. Uh, they gave you two pieces of fish at a time, so I figured I would sit down and eat well as absolutely as many as I could. It's very hot. So here I'm starting my fourth, third and fourth piece of fish. So you could order just the fish. In fact, they actually didn't even like suggest or offer more fries. They just said like, do you want more fish? And of course I said yes. So. Uh, again, only third and fourth piece. This was a cod. You had a choice of cod or pollock. Now, they did have signage saying wall supplies last day. That being said, before I started, I asked if they had lots available, and they said they did. So, uh, the cod was nice. Uh, I later on tried the pollock as well, but I'll mention both of them. Uh, both tasted great. There was no issues with taste or anything. The quality of the food was good. Um, no complaints there. However, again... This isn't all you can eat. And let's see what starts to happen after only my fourth piece of fish. So I was just informed apparently that all you can eat actually only constitutes eight pieces, which is not anywhere on the wall. Um, so hopefully I can work through this situation because I haven't found it anywhere visible saying that there's a maximum of eight. So at this very moment, I mean, I was pretty, I'm gonna use the term disappointed. I was like, come on, seriously? Like I already paid for this. And now, now you're telling me there's a limit of eight pieces. When I told you I was gonna eat quite a few, I didn't say as many as I could, but I said I was gonna eat quite a bit. They knew I was videoing. In fact, 
they were like, oh my god, that's so awesome. Yeah, definitely help share the, you know, video, share word of the restaurant. And in normal circumstances, I would absolutely love to, but again, in the context of this video, I am not disclosing the location for, well, I mean, kind of obvious reasons. I don't want to blast the restaurant. Just put up a sign that says all you can eat ish actually means a maximum of eight pieces. So the girl is super, super, super cool, and let's just say maybe I'm gonna get a few more than uh, than the, the the recommended. So awesome. So this was pieces seven through ten on the plate. Uh, that being said, so the one manager lady kind of left, and the other staff there was like, "I'll help you out." So I was super thankful for that. You can see the change in my demeanor. I'm much more happy at this point because I was. Come on, I mean, I got cut off at an all-you-can-eat restaurant. So again, I'm going to ask you not to disclose the restaurant because theoretically one of the workers kind of went against uh, staff policy or principle to help me out. So that was really cool. So again, I don't want this getting anywhere that it shouldn't. What I will mention is that because the individual was making such an exception for me, I was not going to take advantage of that situation. So while originally I had planned to probably eat something ridiculous like 30 pieces of fish before I got cut off, I was not going to eat 30 pieces of fish now that I had this girl, you know, again being so generous and truly amazing. So I was not going to take advantage of the situation. So I figured I would just go for like, you know, a few more pieces. Uh, they cut me off officially at 8. This now would be 10. So I ended up doing about 14 pieces. Or it, it was actually exactly 14 pieces. Uh, just, again, to stick with it, you know, getting as much of my money's worth as I could. So I just started really filling up on the water. But I did not want to, again, take advantage of the situation because this is, like, genuine, like, not only, I don't know how to put it, hospitality, but, like, this girl really, like, she did not have to do that. So she really turned the experience around. And that's the reason why this place is not disclosed. So this is Pollock. Before I had had it, or cod. Before I had cod, this is Pollock. So we'll try something new. I specifically took this bottle of ketchup off a different table before I started because it was full. It's like empty now. This is the piece of pollock, this piece of cod. So the pollock is a little bit more uh, softer, kind of falls apart a little easier. Cod's just slightly, slightly firmer, but they're both like, you know, soft, delicate white fish. 